we want you. To hear that the guys said before they entered the den I was their preferred dragon, I'm not overly surprised because I think everybody knows tennis. Tennis was my thing. When the lift doors opened and the guys came into the den, I was looking right at them, but I could feel four eyes literally hitting my side of my face. And I just couldn't help but have a little wry smile. I kind of know, oh, you may as well say you're out now, because this is mine. And that's before the pair had even started their pitch. We're here today to ask for £25,000 for 5% share of our holiday business, Active Away. Active Away holidays are for sporty singles, couples and families who travel out as individuals and then come together on the week as a group. I was already interested, but as soon as they revealed their turnover, I just... Oh, my God. This year, we're turning over just over a million pounds and forecast to take away 900 people. It was amazing. A million pounds turnover already. I just wanted to do the deal as quickly as possible. Thanks for listening. If you've got any questions, please fire away. Although Peter Jones was hoping to score an ace over his rival Dragons, it was Tuka Sullivan who served first. Let's talk numbers. What, what was your gross profit? Carry on talking. So, pre... I've only, I've only looked at the post-tax profit, so we were looking at 85 post-tax. <laughs> was it a tactic that I got up and made my presence known? He fancied a cocktail. <laughs> I don't blame him. I'm not going to tell you. How good are you at keepy uppies? Uh, not bad. Probably better than you. But the competitive atmosphere in the den wasn't restricted to a game of keepy uppies. <laughs> <You Oi! laughs> Thank you very much. And Deborah Maiden certainly wasn't about to cede the court to her fellow dragon. This is an area I'm really, really familiar with. And I'm going to offer you 25,000. And I want 15% of the business. I was quite surprised when Deborah made her offer because I thought, well, you, even Deborah, you know that you're not going to take you. It was mine. But the other dragons had other ideas. Tuka Suleiman kept up the volley of offers. I'm going to match Deborah's offer, give you all of the money for 15%. With two dragons already fighting over a share in Stephen and Matthew's company, it was time for Peter Jones to play hardball. I didn't want to go in at 15%. I didn't think I needed to. But a lot of that's predicated on the fact that I knew that the value that the other dragons brought was a lot less than mine, so there's no need to match them. I'm just going to play my own game. Guys, I love it. I'm going to offer you all of the money, obviously. And this isn't for splitting dragons. I have no interest in sharing any of it with any of you. £25,000, but I want 25% of the business. I think 25% is ridiculous. I'm actually going to offer you all of the money for 10%, because I think that's a very fair offer. There was that moment where I'm thinking to myself, hang on, have I got this wrong? The other dragons have gone in so low. Am I going to... Am I going to get this? If you desperately wanted me over the other three dragons, um, which, you know, I wouldn't blame you for, then <laughs> I would be willing to drop to 20%. But the minute that my money is repaid, I would go down to 15%. We'd like to go with you, Peter. Great. Well, hey. <laughs> when the guys accepted my offer, I felt like I'd just beaten Nadal at Wimbledon. I was so chuffed. I mean, I was elated. It was brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, me too. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. So it looked like it was game set and a match made in heaven. Come on! <laughs> yes. Oh, really? I'm so happy. <laughs> Two years on, and Matt and Steve have had plenty of time to reflect on their experience in the den. So when we came out of the den, it was just a real feeling of uh, elation and pride, really. If I'm honest, we did sit down, and, and I had a bit of a Del Boy and Rodney moment where, you know, th this time next year we're going to be millionaires. Uh, and then, really, the feeling of, of hard work kind of set in, that we've still got a long way to go to, to get to where we want to be, but it was a, a great start to put us on that journey. Are you Rodney? Yeah.
They might not be millionaires just yet, but since gaining investment from Peter, life has been lovely juggling for Matt and Steve. Now I made 120,000 net profit. We might be getting a turnover of around 2 million uh, for the following year. For, so for us, it's just massive growth since the den. We've gone from working with 10 or 11 coaches to now we've had 51 coaches working with us this season, which was an amazing thing to see this year. Today, the duo are adding a new strand to their existing holiday business. The corporate side is another side of the business that we can sort of move into that will also fit in with the holidays. The people that come on the corporate days will also be interested in our holiday products. We've got some really high profile business people. Um, we've got some ex-players. We're doing a pro-am this afternoon, which is going to be great fun. So it's a great day for, for businesses to kind of come down and, and, and give that away to their, to their best clients. But their corporate clients aren't Matt and Steve's only VIP visitors. Their dragon investor has also swapped his pinstripes for tennis whites and boosted off his racket. Peter's also brought his son Will along in the hope of giving Matt and Steve a tennis lesson instead of the business one he usually dishes out in the day. Here we go. You got you got no chance. I brought the big dog. <laughs> the big man's dad. <laughs> So talking seriously now, I mean, we're, we're thinking of playing you the 15% back. I think the chances of that are zero. That was you did initially I've just watched that. you guys yeah. play. I know exactly how good you are. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> well, should we have a hit then? Yeah, let's yeah, go. Let's have a hit. A gentle warm-up. Good luck, guys. Good luck. The main impact that we've had with Peter is just Peter is a brand in himself. And to be associated with Peter, to have him um, almost like as our ambassador, we knew before we went into the den, we had a great product. We just needed more people to see our product. And having Peter on board, that's really helped that. I spend a lot of my time gaining partnerships with clubs and coaches and general managers of, of centres. And having Peter in your corner when you go and have those meetings has really helped open a lot of doors. Oh, oh he's gone! <laughs> Victory for Matt and Steve and another airing for that trademark celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Peter's been practising. Chest bumps, though, not tennis. But with business booming like an Andy Murray first serve, even losing doesn't seem to have soured this ultra-competitive Dragon's mood. What a day. I mean, it, for our first one, you guys have done a great job. Huge. I mean, I can't awesome believe turnout. the turnout. Are yeah, you pleased? Yeah, really, really happy. Really well. Yeah, it's yeah, been really great. Well. You can see in here from today, everyone's yeah, having really a great having fun, time. Aren't they? Yeah. To be fair, I really enjoyed <laughs> it. Yeah. It's great. Well, we did playing against you. Yeah, I bet. Well, <laughs> that's because you won. <laughs> and it looks like Peter's not the only one to have enjoyed the day. Oh, it was amazing. Such a great opportunity to play with the pros. It was absolutely brilliant. We're very keen on any kind of corporate hospitality that takes people a little bit out of their comfort zone and does things slightly differently from, from the norm. So I think the concept is a, is, is a great idea. Well done, team. I think you can tell that this is one of my favourite investments from the den. Who knows, in three to four years, we could have a business turning over five or six million, and that would just be great.